bistro recipe at home. If I remember right, the old yeah. mansion's out past the woods. Hey, I think that's a lucky emblem. Okay, I just figured out how to do the lucky emblem. I'd know those ears anywhere. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, You're gonna really like our new gummy blocks. Huh? Ready to check out the old mansion? up there on the screen? I don't know. Let's check it out after the movie's over. for chest right now because Three lucky emblems and one mega potion. Okay, sweet. There was like, some back in um, Olympus. I wonder if I can go back there. Well, I mean, they wouldn't just leave that there just so you could just see it. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's one. Where is it? Oh. 
More screenings for some folks you are. Yeah, ice cream is sweet. For where is Bless me, sorry. <laughs> Rest my heartless. Here we go. Trail, freaking fruit. Mm -hmm. Oh, heartless. Heartless. What do you think they're up to? Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> Look on that branch. The heartless have him surrounded. Oh no! Right to me. Yeah. This is chariot. Gorge, they're not making it easy for us. When it was never easy. I'm really enjoying this game so far. I love it. Well, take care. Whoa! 
what? What is? What? Whoa! 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 Lucky! That little feller's parked on your head. Huh? Would you cut that? Uh, whoa! Huh? You know, maybe he wants you to pick up the fruit for him. Mm, I swear, okay, this was a side fine, quest. But I can do it by myself. I just need to collect the fruit. If this becomes a main like a side quest, right I then. Do. So, what are you going to do with all this anyway? Huh? Hmm? Oh. Clueless. <laughs> He's well, like clueless even. okay. You be careful going home. See you around. Next stop, the mansion. Yeah. Oh, my shield! Ah. That little fella sure seems yeah. happy. Well, I'm ready. Okay. Go, go, go! go. Yes. Yeah. Come on. You know, I feel like, I feel like whoever, whoever plays this game is going to get it. Games like this. People thought this was going to be the Final Kingdom Hearts game. I hope it's not, because I love this series. Do I have to follow the branches? There it is. Nice. Here we go. It's over. That building up ahead. So this is where was this where Roxas was on born? Well, born as in like like summoned basically. I played it again for three hours. Jeez. Why? feels <gasps> what do you think guys this place is even creepier than I remember well they do say that this mansion is haunted
Hey there. <gasps> ah! <sighs> Thanks for the heart attack. Oh, what? Did I scare you? Uh, oh. <laughs> Our bad. So how did it go? Did you get any leads? <laughs> nope. Afraid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep. This old mansion is our last hope. You guys ready? Another Twilight Town awaits. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Eh, the password was uh, sea salt ice cream, right? Okay, I'm in. Let's you... get that transporter working. Uh, uh, oh man, the transporter's been protected. Protected from what? I guess from us? We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there. Well, that was then. And this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. Well, uh huh? Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah, but how do you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know any shag. Oh, and what, you do? <laughs> I know, I haven't got a clue. Then, uh, who was it that logged in? Oh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup. But I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so I can't uh... run it. Which program? Uh... The transporter to the other Twilight Town. Uh, uh... It's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? Okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas! Mm-hmm. We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Maybe I can do something. Pence. But Let's get a network set up. My address here is... Okay, sharing is enabled. <gasps> huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas' full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine there's a log of that data that... Uh... Basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly, and we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. Glad you're following along. <laughs> don't worry, we'll handle it. I like how Sora, Sora's me, though, because like, I don't get anything. End. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. 
It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. He was recompleted like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. Oh? You think he's on their side? I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh no! We got work! I totally forgot! Really? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh... Oh, I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> Later, Sora. Yeah, see ya, Hainer. Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! Ah! Oh, and since I'm manning the computer here, you guys are in charge of earning my share. No pretzel for pence. <laughs> hey! Hmm. <laughs> 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 this is why I love the, the game so much. It has, like, really, really funny, um, things. It really is a Disney game. You all can judge me for playing Disney game all you want, okay? I don't care. I guess we're not leaving the old mansion. So, what's next? Want to go back to town? Yeah, I'm, let's go back to town so that way I can go and um, find some more stuff. Just because then we need to get the ultimate weapon. Wait, I don't, I don't, no, no, no. When do you get the ultimate recipe in the game? I guess I'm gonna have to find out all by myself. Cause as I said in the previous video, I will get the ultimate weapon like um, on the, in its own video. Cause I don't wanna like take up too much time on a certain video, just so I don't have to part of the story. Let's go. Eco's it. <laughs> I want to jump over the fence. So you think you can bring Roxas back? And handsome. Handsome! Oh. Zemnis! Zemnis! Roxas should never have existed in the first place. What you seek is impossible. I feel like it hurt their Roxas voice just does to... exist. His heart's inside my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just Data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside Data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Huh? Ansem and Xemnas used to be part of the same person, right? Yeah, but Tara. look, now they exist separately just fine. Mm. If they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you tell him, Captain Goofy. <laughs> In that case, by all means, nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You <laughs> wish. He'll never answer to you again. You never cared about Roxas. Still so blind. A nobody is what's left behind. When one gives his heart to darkness, there is only one way to bring Roxas back, which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> What? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. Oh. 
Heartless? <laughs> Nobody. Now, set your heart free. Wait! Uh, Sarah! Sure. Oh. Okay, I wanted to say this before the, I got um, the cutscene. It's Does not it darkness. hurt them? Not if it helps him. If um, does it hurt their voices to do th to, to the, the throats to do that? I, mean, I don't know. It just sounds like it would hurt. Just to, like they say those things like that voice. It's crazy. Let's go! Flare horn! Here we go. This is Chariot. Yeah. But yeah, I was saying, like, does it hurt their throats to do that voice? Cause how deep is Zemnis's voice and Ansem? It's like they sound like they're trying to make their voice so deep, but also it's like it's dot their the main voice characters are, of the characters are dying. Herc said He said with all my heart. Okay. Then all my heart it is. I'm getting Roxas out. Are you with me? Donald? Goofy? <laughs> you you. I don't know what Ansem and Xemnas want, but I think we better tell the others to watch out. Okay then. Let's head back to town. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, let's go ahead. Let's head back to town. But Probably kills them to do Donald's voice too. Come on! Alright, here we go. I know what to do, so we're on! Go get him! Here we go. Kingdom Hearts 3 and um, My Hero Academia 4 came together. Great, you hear um, you say run all over the place. Not again. I mean, sorry, I did find a thousand hearts before, so. I know, no, I can't. Guys, I, I get it. But seriously, I fought you all like 13 times over. There! 
Alright, here we go. Back in town. Well, bless Whoa. my bagpipes. It was you laddies who rescued mm -hmm. my chef. I can't go strong. Huh? Oh, Scrooge. Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right. But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler. Cool. <laughs> How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why don't you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for ya! Hmm... What is it? Wow! wow cake! cake. Hmm? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce... Little Chef. Oh, oh, it's you! Uncle Scrooge, you open the bistro and try on town! Aye! It all started a little while ago, when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So, I thought, that's an opportunity. And I finance the whole operation. Ooh! I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients. Especially anything unusual. That'll be fun. Kind of like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. Yeah. That tart short, sure it looks scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. A Little Chef's bis Bistro, you can transform the ingredients you've gathered into delicious meals. Eating. The cuisine will you prepare will grant, will grant you benefits effects, temporary status effects. Okay. So this is basically like um Breath of the Wild. If you guys ever played Legends of the Breath of the Wild, you can collect um if you collect like certain foods throughout certain parts of um town. Sound you can uh, as parts of uh, the world you could actually like cook them and that would give you either certain status effects or heal you and that sort of jazz. But yeah, I wonder where this place is. Here we go. Butter. Little Chef needs more ingredients. We better keep an eye out. Oh boy! Let's see if there's more. Huh. Hope we find some ingredients around here. 
Just imagine a yummy stuff little chef will whip up with this. Nice foods! Oh. Look at this! Yeah! This just caught my eye. When I went up here, I saw it. Let's see. I've got to try to recreate that feast. We can't leave. Little Chef still needs our help. Oh, so this is. So I'm not really giving it a choice. <laughs> Leave? Little Chef still needs our help. Yo! I guess skateboarding is passe now. More screenings to come close. You all get your chance. Yes! Over here. Hmm. One more. Where would it be? Back off! I made an entire shockwave with that. <laughs> What are you doing? Up some ingredient. 
Wow. Yes, we're still short. Let's keep searching. Yeah, sort by one. But I don't even know where it is. <laughs> I pretty much had this entire side, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, got it, finally. Oh my god. It's gonna be forever. Hey, boss. Uh, Down with the posters. Uh -huh. Hey! Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You download this, Uncle Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> Aren't you the richest man in the world? Uncle Scrooge. Gore, she sure is canny. I you always think? wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh, yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. Okay. But we'll definitely about to say, be back. Said we're heroes again. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm -hmm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, God. It's them. Really? It's you. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes. Just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. Good question. But Why in that it... case, we'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. I swear, it, like, it, it, there's no way it doesn't hurt them to do that voice. Whoever voices Zemnis and um, Ansem, there's no way. <laughs> Classic Kingdom. Shooting Star Keyblade. A wish at Twilight. 
guns. The Shadisar Keyblade can be fa can be form changed into a projectile weapon called the Double Arrow Gun. While for changing, hold R2 to take aim and, a, and automatically fire with a stream of shots towards foes. Oh, okay. So it's basically like a dr he's it's now a ranged attack now. Sora. I know my strength goes down by uh two. Pretty sure the ultimate weapon would be at the top. I'm gonna switch to this though. Just to see. How is Donald about to be level nine than all of us? How? Oh yeah, he has a lot more XP. This got Save. Turn to the world map, okay. I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yensa tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. It's He's tiring. an amazing wizard. Yeah, it's Kyrie and Lee, isn't it? Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before. And some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy. But I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. <gasps> What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. What? I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah, but it's okay. I just like talking to Sora, even if it's on paper. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah, I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know, we did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. What? No, uh, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? 
Well, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? Mm. Oh. Shield. Oh. Huh? Are you okay? Lee? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh. <laughs> Something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. Fine. On one condition. What? Call me Axel from now on. Got it? Memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. Well then. Ah, poor Axel. I'm just gonna call him Axel from now on because it's the most memorable for me. That's the only thing I ever freaking call him. Riku and Mickey. So this is the place where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Oh, Terra. It's Terra. I know that for Anson a fact. Anson the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. He be oh, so he became a heart. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own. Hearts with strong enough he ties to him Sora, to begin a new organization. Distance. The real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. No. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam when Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. <laughs> but how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. Terra! <laughs> it's Terra! That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It's... It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way. That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yup. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay, 
But Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's cause Master Xehanort's collecting vessels. He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yep, and Merlin too. Yeah. I like how Riku can just smile in that situation. He's like, you know what? Let's smile on this. Because that's just guess. Who's the person that made me smile? Hey, Sora, I got a tip for you. Blow over the world map. From here, you can voyage in new world on your gummy ship. Or if you like create creative, you can use the gummy editor to create your own custom ship. Pathways are new ways to new worlds are open. To visit a new world, you have to reach it on the gummy ship. Once you reach the world, you'll be able to warp back to it anytime you like. Great, Sora. The, bis the bistro is has a, has been unlocked. You can visit. You can now visit Little Chef's Bistro from right here on the world map. Don't forget that you won't be able to cook unless you have enough ingredients. Great job. The gummy ship has been unlocked. Visit the gummy ship to purchase parts so you can build your own custom ships. Hey Sora, I got a tip for you. Look, I'm not gonna read all this. <laughs> I already know. Uh, toy box? Oh no. Kingdom of Cor Corona. Let's begin. What the heck? 